Step by Step Math Series presents Factoring Trinomials Part 2, Factoring by Grouping 2 of 2. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, factor this trinomial using the factoring by grouping method. The first thing we should notice is that there's a 1 in front of the x square. What we want to do is we want to say 1 times negative 21, which will give you negative 21. I'm going to write it over here on the side. That's our first step. The second step is to identify two factors that will give me 21. We know that 7 and 3 are one pair and 21 and 1. Now the next thing we want to do is look at the middle term here, the linear term, and this gives me negative 4. This is going to help me determine which of these um, factors um, get to be subtracted or added. And you'll see what I mean. So negative 4, the coefficient is negative 4. And let's look at these pairs. And let's look at the 7 and 3 first. Is there any way I can add or subtract 7 and 3 to get negative 4? You might say, well, 7 take away 3 gives you 4, but that's not the negative 4 that I want. Um, how about, so that's wrong, how about 3 take away 7? Well, that gives me the negative 4 that I need. And to make sure this is correct, the next thing we should do is we should multiply these two factors with the signs. And you'll see that 3 times negative 7 gives you negative 21, which is the same number as your constant over here at the end. So all this work is so that we can split the middle term. So we get x squared, negative 4x, negative 4x is going to turn into 3, a plus 3, x, and a minus 7x, which is the other factor, and then negative 21. So when we multiplied these two numbers and found two factors and then somehow added or subtracted those two factors to get the middle term, then we split the middle term into two terms. And now instead of a trinomial, we have a polynomial of four factors. And we do the factor by grouping, which was shown in the other video. So we take these two terms and we factor completely. What we can do is we can take out an x and we are left with x plus 3. So x times x is x squared. x times 3 is 3x. And this binomial will write over here. we got to write exactly what we have over here. Some number goes here, some factor. Um, if you say 7, because um, there's a 7x here, but it's not, it's a negative 7x. You can see that 7 times x doesn't give you negative 7x. So if I put a negative here, negative 7 times x gives you negative 7x, and negative 7 times 3 gives you negative 21. So that worked out perfectly. You'll notice that these two are the same, so we can take these out, we can extract them, we can factor them. And what's left over? Well, the x and the takeaway 7. And you'll see that this trinomial is factored out perfectly. Two things. One is that this trinomial here can be factored pretty easily by guessing. So um, this technique of factoring by grouping is not for these simple trinomials, but to demonstrate the steps. And two, um, you'll notice that um, this came out pretty pretty easy. This negative 4x split into these terms, these two terms, and then it was easily factored out and so forth. Sometimes you'll find factors that look good, but won't work out. That's kind of rare, but I just wanted you to um, know that. Okay, let's try the next problem. And in this problem, we're going to say negative 5 times 4 which will give you negative 20. 
couple of factors that make 20 are 5 and 4, 10 and 2, and uh, 20 and 1. Okay, so um, our linear term is going to be 1, and if we think about it, which of these factors will give me 1 if you add or subtract the numbers? Well, you can see that 20 and 1 will give you 21 or 19, 10 and 2 would give you 12 or 8, but 5 and 4 could give you 1 by subtracting 4 from 5. You can see that. And to double check to see if we got the right factors, we can multiply these two numbers and you'll see we get the negative 20. Okay, so we're going to split the plus 1 into two factors. So we get negative 5x squared. The two factors are going to be plus 5x and take away 4x plus 4. And you'll see that the two terms here, we're going to have to factor them out. And it's up to you if you want to factor out that negative or not, but I'm going to factor out the negative. And I'm going to take out a 5x. And something is in here. Well, let's see. It's probably an x. Negative 5x times x is negative 5x squared. And we've got to be careful here. A negative times something gives you a positive. Well, we need another negative, and it's going to be a 1. So negative 5x times negative 1 gives you a 5x. And this over here needs to be x take away 1. has to be. Here, if we put a 4, because this is a 4 over here, uh, 4 times x doesn't give me negative 4x, but if I put a negative, let's see if that works. Negative 4 times x gives you negative 4x. Negative 4 times a negative 1 gives me a 4. Perfect. Now, these two binomials are the same, so I can factor them out. What's left over? Negative 5x and a take away 4. Perfect. So this trinomial can be factored out. And you'll notice that it's pretty straightforward when we're factoring this uh, trinomial using the factor by grouping because if you were going to guess um, it would be a little more challenging um, to do that um, so if you want more information come to our website and um, hopefully you'll use the site as time goes on Let's do the next problem. The next problem you'll see here um, might take you a little while doing if you were guessing, but it, with factoring by grouping, it's not too hard. Okay, we're going to go and multiply 2 times negative 15, which will give you negative 30. Then you got to think about all the factors of 30. 5 and 6 would be 1. 30 and 1 would be another. Um, 10 times 3 would be another. And what? 15 times 2 would be another. Okay, now we look at the middle term, negative 7. What two factors out of all these would make a 7? if you add them or subtract them. Not 5 and 6. That would give you 1 or 11, not 30 and 1. That would give you, what, 29 or 31. 15 and 2 would give you 17 or 13. But 10 and 3 is perfect. 10 and 3. If I subtract 10 and add 3, that's going to give me negative 7. And to make sure I got these factors right, negative 10 times 3 gives me negative 30. So that passes the test. Negative 7 is this linear term, and then negative 30 is when you multiply the 2 times the negative 15. Okay, so we take 2x squared. 
split the negative 7x with negative 10x plus 3x. And don't forget the 3 was from over here. And don't forget the x, and then negative 15. So negative 10x plus 3x gives you negative 7x. We haven't really changed anything. We just split the middle term. Now we take these two terms and we factor out as much as we can. Well, we can factor out a 2 and an x. And 2x times something gives me 2x squared. That's going to give me an x. And 2x times something will give me a negative 10x. Well, that's going to be a negative 5. So that's okay. Now I'm going to take this binomial. I'm going to copy it over here. I need this binomial for these two terms. So what number goes out here? Well, looks like it's a 3, a plus 3. 3 times x gives you 3x. 3 times negative 5 gives you negative 15. Perfect. So the x take away 5, they're the same binomial. I'm going to factor it out. I'm going to extract and I'm going to take it out. And whatever's left over, which is the 2x plus 3, I'm going to write it out. Perfect. And to double check it, you can use the FOIL method if you want. But you can see that uh, factoring by grouping is a little bit easier, maybe, um, instead of trying to guess the binomials.